All right, here we go. Second week of fall tour here in Ontario. All right, we're in Tilsonburg tonight on election night. Then we're on to Mitchell and London and Chatham and then Hamilton for the grand finale. It'll be a good week. And Ottawa. <laughs> and Ottawa. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, we're the uh, BC boys here, flying around and driving around in friendly, flat Manitoba. We're challenging the speed limits a little bit because we're late. The plane was delayed and we forgot that Manitoba's two hours ahead of British Columbia, so... What, Mike, this is your first uh, fall tour in three years? How many years now? Since 2018, yeah. 2018, yeah. man. So yeah. They got um, the old guy out on the tour. Yeah, I'm sorry for everyone in Carmen, but you're going to get all the rust off of... Uh, Mr. Director of Advocacy right here, so hopefully it goes well tonight. Drew, why are you here tonight? Uh, to watch the ARPA presentation. What are you guys looking forward to? <laughs> so Levi, we're back after the Manitoba presentation here in Winnipeg, 150 people. What was your most memorable thing tonight? Most memorable thing tonight? Well, I'd probably just say just all the young people that were there. In many of the other presentations, especially in BC when we couldn't have huge crowds, it was often just uh, adults there, but it was like, I think at least a quarter of the people there were still in high school or middle school or, or college. So it was just great to see so many young people coming out of the presentation and being involved in that way. So we arrived. You gotta look at the camera. You can't just look at me. Where are we, Dan? Right. So we've arrived in. What's with the happy, happy, happy? So we've arrived in Regina. <laughs> Come on, Mike. <laughs> you clapped as I was talking. Okay. So we've arrived in Regina, Saskatchewan, after a long morning. Uh, well, for Elise and I. And Mike came from Manitoba, and it's been great, Mike. Uh, this legislature has some fond memories to you. Yeah, back in 2014, from 2014 actually to 2018, I spent a lot of time coming into Regina and having meetings right there in that building behind us. And that was dealing with the parental consent campaign. And it's actually one of the things that we're talking about on this year's fall tour, provincial legislation that would protect pre-born children. Uh, so hopefully we can revive some of those thoughts and ideas and energy towards protecting uh, minors who are considering abortion. Ed, what are, you, what are you looking forward to here in Saskatchewan well, and Alberta? First, first of all, I'm glad I could join you guys. Uh, Mike, of course, uh, has already started this off at the Winnipeg and Carmen stop. So we are here. A uh, really cool thing for this year's Prairies Fall Tour. Four brand new stops. We are here, of course, in Re Regina, and we're heading to Medicine Hat. And then we're going to be also be in Rocky Mountain House and also way up north in good old Vermilion. So four brand new stops on this fall tour. We're really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be great to see all you there. Week number two is well underway. We're here in Mitchell for the second event of this week. So far it's been going well. Had a great event in Oxford last night and uh, looking forward to the rest of the week. in the back corner there. <laughs> you couldn't hear a thing. Couldn't hear a thing, could see a thing. I missed the second part, snoozing a little bit. Uh, yeah, the uh, national anthem was good at the end. I enjoyed that. It was an excellent evening. 
They all did very well. She actually recorded. The four knew their parts well and they presented well, very clearly. It was good to have a big crowd out here as well. to Ottawa five hours and a bit this morning and we just set up for our evening presentation and we're on to the last event for the Ontario two weeks that we've been on the road so we're looking forward to wrapping it up here today. Hey everyone, it's the Ontario Tour team and we just wrapped up a really good event. And I'm with these fine looking colleagues. They're still dressed up. I dressed down, but you'll notice I'm wearing some pretty funky socks. That's right, they come from McDonald's. Uh, Ryan here, he kindly bought them for me and there's a backstory. It's because in our, our earlier tours with ARPA, Andre and I had to really rely on the good folks at McDonald's to sustain us through those tours, especially the, the classic McDouble. And uh, so I've got fond memories and I still vouch for the, the good folks at McDonald's. If you're watching, we're looking forward to a sponsorship coming in the mail. Uh, but, but McDonald's aside, we've, we've been able to, uh, uh, in tour like this, we've been able to be treated so well by the hospitality of the folks in Ontario. Thankful for that. Any reflections, guys, on, on this tour? Yeah, it's just been a wonderful opportunity to you know get out there, and uh, for me, it's my first tour, my first opportunity to present and meet so many people here in Ontario. It's been a long time since we, you know we've been able to even meet people, and for me to be able to meet people that I, that I haven't had a chance to see across Ontario, that's just been the highlight for me. Just getting out there, meeting people in other communities, and connecting with them, encouraging them. And one of the highlights um, of this tour in particular was this brand new pro life flag that's. Uh, that's come out. You know, we've stopped at, uh, at 10 different places and so many people were willing and interested and excited about the opportunity to, uh, to see this thing uh, fly in their communities across the province. So we're look forward to, looking forward to uh, seeing that happen. For myself, one of the things I was really excited and encouraged to see was just how many of the leaders in our in the reform community were there, like just key people from all different walks of life, you know, we're talking pastors and teachers and uh, just just people that were really interested in, in what we had to say and uh, and about the work that we're doing. Uh, and I'm just excited, I'm excited about what, where that will go, where that's going to lead. Uh, so that, for me, that was ex more exciting than, you know, just numbers of people or, or anything like that. So. How about you, Tabitha? Yeah, and for me, it was, it's seeing people concerned about things that are happening in our country, whether it's abortion, whether it's COVID-19 response, whether it's some of the conversion therapy bans, and, and seeing them be able to translate that into action, giving them tools to actually respond to some of the issues going on. And I just talked to a, a group of young women today who all committed to sitting down and writing their MPP this week, and I just think that's a really exciting thing of, of being able to give people tools to respond to the situation in our country. So... Yeah, it was a great tour. I enjoyed it. Not with us here, but shooting this, this video is Teresa Wainia. She really made this Ontario tour, uh, Ontario tour possible. Super grateful to her and to all of you for, for following along and especially your prayers. It means so much to us. From the Ontario Tour team.